Hey, what's up, plant-based runner? Coach Kyle here, and I work with vegans, vegetarian, plant-based distance runners all over the world. I have a degree in nutrition, and these are my three favorite non-tofu, kind of less processed uh, meat alternatives. Let's start with the one I use most often. And gosh, it's kind of a, I'm not, I'm not sure actually, I'm just gonna start with this one. Vital Wheat Gluten. This is from Anthony's and I get this on Amazon and basically it's made from the natural protein found in the endosperm of the wheat berry. It gives shape, volume, and elasticity to baked goods. The wheat flour is hydrated to activate the gluten, then further processed to remove everything but the gluten. This is literally gluten. It's poison to some people, and I love it. I'm really glad I'm not gluten intolerant. I make uh, I make loaves of, of, with this, and it's super high in protein. Like gluten is literally it's 23 grams of protein in a quarter cup of this. So this is what. It, one example of what it turns out is, and I, I basically, I make a flour uh, with this, with the gluten, with nutritional yeast. There's a, a variety of recipes. You can use uh, chickpea flour as well. That plus the wheat gluten actually gives it a really great amino acid profile. And so with this, uh, what I do is I make the dough, I roll it into a ball, I, or I use a, a bread, a bread, uh, a bread dish thing, and I make a loaf of it basically and I bake it and it turns out like this. And this is something I, I often I'll like just slice and make, you know, use as like a deli, like a meat type option on sandwiches. Uh, I'll cook it as like a bacon type for breakfast. You can use a food processor and grind it up and it makes kind of like a, like a, like a ground beef, like for tacos. And it's, it's pretty chewy, but depending on how you make it, little flavor or a lot, it's good. Very high in protein. Speaking of the like the ground beef type option, TVP is great as well. Textured vegetable protein, defatted soy flour. Textured vegetable protein is an excellent alternative to meat and a vegan source of complete protein. Easily absorbs flavors for recipes like chili, tacos, meatballs, etc. And it just comes in, it's just kind of a powdery option here. So you basically just like heat it. Uh, you can soak it or cook it in hot water and you can add as much or as little flavoring as you want. And this is a really cool thing. If you're making chili, just dump this in the chili and there you've got extra protein in there. It's very simple. Lastly is the one that I really wish I would have discovered a long time ago and we use quite a bit. And it's soy curls. It's an easy to prepare, good source of fiber, and it contains the whole bean. One ingredient, non-GMO soybeans, contains soy. So, uh, this is 11 grams, and it's about 15 grams of protein in a cup. This is 12 grams in a quarter cup. So, all this is fairly high in protein, and what these look like, they look like this. Kind of weird, I know. Um, I've heard of people just eating them like this, it's fine, very neutral flavoring, but what you generally do, what I do, is I soak them. You can soak them in water, you can soak them in like vegetable broth, you can, like I, like the TBP, you can just dump it into something. But I've made uh, epic vegan jerky. This makes a great vegan jerky, you bake it, you soak it and you bake it with a ton of flavoring. Uh, but what's really good is like chicken tacos or something or Mongolian beef with this. You can uh, just like put it in, cook it with a bunch of sauce. Um, and it, you can make a lot of, you know, versatile different types of recipes with this. And it's very simple. I get all these on off Amazon. All this is really great, easy, simple things that you can do that don't cost a ton of money that are very high in protein and single ingredient each, which I really like. It's a big alternative to the Beyond stuff, which tastes pretty good, it's very easy, but there's a laundry list of ingredients in that stuff. And so this is what I like to, this is generally what our kind of meat alternatives are. And if you want more information on some healthy vegan options, check out this video right here.